up. If you have kids around, parental advisory is in effect. Parental advisory is yes. in effect. This is the Bonus Bone Podcast with Lamont and Tonelli, Baby Huey, and Chasta. Welcome back to the Bonus Bone Podcast. Chasta, Lamont, and Tonelli. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop. whoop. So, we don't have Baby Huey this week, so I'm behind the board. So, you know, here's hoping that I do this all right. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, like, managing buttons as we speak. Uh, so, yeah, so today's topic is a little bit interesting. Um, Lamont brought it up, and it's funny timing, because the idea is, have you ever been interrupted having sex? Yes. And my mom is in town. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, that's great. Is it, this it, is not why I brought it up. I know, are, I know, I know. Are we doing this today because Baby Huey's not here? <laughs> Well, exactly. To be fair, I don't That's think he would. I started have, laughing a I, I second figured ago. We should all be able to relate to the subject. I don't think he would have a story for this one. Maybe he oh, does. That's that's very you unfair. Know what? <laughs> He's not well, we'll ask him, him when he comes back, and I pretty much guarantee it'll be nope. Yeah, we, we will give him an opportunity to yes, defend sorry. himself on the I next episode. Resist. Um. So, anyways, it just made me laugh when you brought this up because I thought my mom's in town, and that's a rule. I don't do it with my mom in the house. Right. Which could become a real problem if my mom ever moves in with us. I was just going to say, what if she moves in with you guys? This is why we would we are going to build her a tiny home in the backyard. (laughs) So I don't have to worry about it. But I will tell her why that tiny home is being built. (laughs) Or if she listens to this podcast. I know. Then she'll know the only reason that's the house of sin that That, she's living in. That's a hard and fast rule for you. It is. Here's the truth. I Uh can't mentally get there knowing that my mom is like, you know, 15 feet away from me. And maybe uh-huh. can hear everything going on. Yeah, I mean, I would be really, I would have to be really quiet. Like, mm-hmm. put your face in a pillow. Well, it must have run in the family because I'm sure your mom didn't bother your mom when you were living at home as a kid. No, here's the truth. My mom would not allow, okay, so my parents got divorced when I was seven, and my mom would not allow her boyfriend okay. to stay All the right. night when she had the kids. All right. right. So when we Very would go to my, my dad, right, we'd go to my dad's for the weekend, then her boyfriend, now my stepdad could come over and uh-huh. they would do whatever yes, they want to do. And I don't exactly. want to think about that. Yeah. But no, he couldn't be in the house when we were there. How old were you then? I was seven. You were that seven? was until I was 18. And wow. then he started coming over whenever. So after he I left put up house. with that for 11 years. My mom is worth that. Wow. Is that impressive? Look, where'd go, mom? Marcia. Yeah, Mama Marcia bring Lay it Lay down the law. <laughs> Okay, so you go first then, since this was your okay, topic well, idea. Well, the, I just read that subject, and I thought, well, that's a pretty funny friggin' idea. It is a pretty And idea. I have been caught. You have? Yeah. Oh, yes. Now, By who? Now, well, here, by the police. What? <laughs> by, by the oh. police. I think we're in the same boat. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we were going to have You've never been ca- caught by the police? Maybe. I'm okay. not telling my story yet. All right, you go so, ahead. so here's the deal. I lived at home for an exceptionally long time, but not as long as Tanelli. Okay. <laughs> but when I first got into radio, you weren't making a lot of money. I lived away from home. Mm-hmm. And then when I got a job in the city I was in, Winnipeg, yeah. I moved back at home because I was saving my freaking cash. And I was never home anyway. Yeah. But that is not a good thing when you're meeting girls who also lived at home. Oh, yeah. Right? You got so nowhere then to go. what are you going to do? Right. You go in the car. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> so the worst part was... <laughs> And, and it was fairly cold, so the windows get all steamed up, mm. and you don't see anything. This is a good story. Okay. Steamy story. And all of a sudden, and you're getting down and dirty. Uh. I mean, we're, we were there, right? <laughs> down and dirty. All of a sudden, I look out the windows, and you can't really see what's going on because the windows are all steamed. <laughs> yeah. I see red and blue lights oh. outside. I'm just like... That can't be good. That's not good. Right? Where were you? Were you in a park? You were on a uh, We a were back road? on a very back, back, back road. Okay. I mean, there's no way someone should ever have been going down that street. Yeah. Well, except for the cops. Little did I know. So now the girl starts panicking. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not as much as I am. Oh, no. Because now you're looking. You're trying to zip up in time. <laughs> yeah. And you hear... Oh my god. Everything all right in there? And you can see a flashlight going through the window, but thank God it's all steamed up. Yeah. So now they know exactly what's going on because we're both in the back seat. Oh my God. Right? The writing is on the wall. Exactly. On the steamy windows. Yes, on the steamy window. So you kind of roll it down a little bit and your hair is all tossed. Uh She's looking like a mess. (laughs) Can I help you? Another look. Exactly. The guy starts laughing. He goes, "Uh, Hey, I appreciate it. 
appreciate it if you don't do this here. Uh, that's all, that's he all he said. said. Well, yeah. Oh, you got, got off easy. Well, I, I know. Know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> He's got to feel awkward, too. Well, yeah, but the guy was laughing. I what, mean, he, he had a smile on his face. Yeah. He knew when he saw the steamed up windows on that car, yeah. he knew exactly what I was getting into. <laughs> <laughs> so were you both like butt naked, like? Everything was off. No. Okay. No. 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 But the it, by the time he knocked on the window, I'm still zipping up. Right. Right. So I had my pants on, and she is scrambling. <laughs> and I go, "Are you ready?" She goes, "Hold on, hold on, hold on." Hold on. Ah! And then when we, z- they, he knew exactly what was oh going on. Oh my god, on. that's so awkward. But by the way, that was the last time the girl ever parked with me too. Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah, that she ruined it. everything. Yeah, exactly. Damn then it was cop. that time I've just got, I've got to get my own place. Yeah. Oh right? yeah. Did you after that? No, I was still too cheap. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> that wasn't going to happen for a while. Right, exactly. That's hilarious. To know yeah. yours yeah, also no, it was involves- the same kind of thing. Actually, a couple of different times, but one time was... A couple of different <laughs> times. <laughs> one, one was exactly like that, Yeah, where we were over at uh, by Land's End in San Francisco. Uh-huh. Yeah. Which is over by the Cliff House. Yeah, yeah. there's oh, yeah. an overlook looking over the uh, the old Sutro Bath site. Very oh, romantic yeah. site there. Romantic. Now it's a yeah. Golden Gate Park recreational area. They got an office there, but but back in the day, it was just a huge empty dirt. Was it kind of no man's land? Like nobody would go out there. Uh, there were a few cars out there, but the difference oh, was there the were no fl- there were no cop lights. Right, uh, the guy just parked. We had no idea what was going on. Was the car Got the rocking? stereo going. Not at that point. Okay. <laughs> but we had most of our clothes off, but not all of our clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the windows were steamed. You can't see shit looking out the window. And then all of a sudden, there was a knock on the window, which oh has God. scared the shit oh, out yeah. of us. <laughs> Absolutely. Because at least you saw the cop lights. You don't know if it's Jack the Ripper at the freaking <laughs> f- at, yeah, on your door, knocks. right? I'm yeah. pretty sure he did. And, <laughs> and then he had the flashlight and identified yeah. himself. And I just kind of rolled the window down. I mean, you really couldn't see anything R- windows were just and dripping. the lights in your eyes too <laughs> right but uh and then he you know he asked if everything was okay he yeah. asked for my driver's license yeah i don't know why oh the guy didn't ask for my id yeah really? so he asked yeah. for my id and then but he ended up and he goes paulito yeah, yeah right <laughs> paulito oh i'm so disappointed <laughs> and, and the gal is with is like trying to cover up because her shirt's off and, and she's oh, embarrassed oh my god and uh, there was another time though that was a little bit more adventurous uh we were in sausalito a buddy of mine at the time his parents had a a, a small sailboat how old were you at this time uh, 22, 23, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And so he gave me, the, his parents were out of town, and he gave me the keys to his parents' sailboat. The boats are oh, rocking. Oh, that's great. That right. yeah, right. It yeah. wasn't like a huge yacht or anything like that. It was yeah, probably but about a, Paul, I mean, seriously, I mean, that is some major friggin' it, 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 You know, it had like the little... Right there. Th- yeah. Uh, I guess cabin downstairs, yeah, right? Yeah, like a yeah. little kitchenette and a bed, obviously, and... Uh, so we, we were on that thing, and we were actually uh, a little more into it than we were in the car. Yeah. <laughs> is this the same girl? Um, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I remember. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so anyway, well, yeah, but, uh, yeah, early 20s, I'm living at home. Right. Oh, yeah. Until my early 30s. And <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, um, <laughs> we were we were really going at it, and and then there, there was a knock on the door of the boat. We weren't expecting anybody, yeah. right? Because my buddy's parents were out of town, and and I thought at first it was him just dicking with of me. Of course, and uh, it was the uh, marina Gordon manager, fisherman, What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the yellow cap on. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rain. like to buy some fish sticks there, mate? <laughs> yellow rain. Sl- Liquor. Yeah, no, I'm the one that needs a raincoat here. Yeah. Oh my God, no way! <laughs> and uh, and then I thought it was yeah, I thought it was my buddy dicking with me. Yeah. And it was the uh, marina manager. Everything okay in there? And uh, open the. Uh, then I had to open the little the sliding hatch. the little sliding door, right? Yeah. And kind of crawl up the stairs, the two or three stairs, and I've just got my shirt kind of loosely on, and. Uh, <laughs> are you related to the so and sos? And I said, Well, I'm a friend of you know whatever. I, you know I've. You're like the who? <laughs> you have to explain yourself. Oh my god! I so have I no said, fucking idea who the boat this is. We'll be we'll be out of here in a few minutes. Interrupted the entire thing. That sucks. <laughs> that could have been a really it good was, night. It was. We were building up a sweat. That's for sure. <laughs> and and uh, 
So God, this one gal, I mean, you must have had blue balls dating this gal that oh you're caught God. all the time. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, wow. that was uh that was that was a good one. <laughs> that was a really good one. I'm laughing now because I'm thinking of the whole thing. It was like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how embarrassing. That guy feels like a douche though, because it's not like you I mean, you were in a piece of private property, not your private property. Right. But you had prob- access to that yeah. private property. Right. It's not like you were in a park in a car where you shouldn't have been mm-hmm. right that was just a douchebag move yeah but at like two Maybe in the morning the guy's daughter one or, or two in the morning <laughs> you're just being too it was a noise ordinance at that point is that i don't saying? know if it was a noise, noise ordinance are you making? But i'm sure they don't have yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's the seals the seals are back <laughs> right? on, the, on the wharf again is that tonelli or the seals <laughs> this, is, this is left over from land's That's end farting <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You guys were pent up from Lands End, so you had to That's go to just, Sausalito. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I was left over from Lands End. Right? I was like, all right, no, but yeah, he. Uh, I, I would imagine that nobody's on their boat at two in the morning or one in the morning. So well, he was were. wondering what the hell's going on over there. That's unfortunate. I felt that was bad a good for one. you. That yeah, was a really good one. <laughs> I've never been necessarily caught, but I got really close one time. Jay and I. This is the most scandalous we've ever been because I'm a little bit tame when it comes to getting in caught. Public. I'm terrified. Yeah, right. I don't ever want, I, my biggest fear is for Cody to walk in because then he'll be in right. Have your children ever caught you? No. Okay. No. See, that's like, I will go to great lengths, like move furniture in front of the door. Right. Like we have a chaise lounge in our bedroom. Yeah. I'll move that in front of the door so that we the don't. The dog's another good one. <laughs> no, the, the, the dog catches you. They go crazy. Oh, well, Roxy is Depends always the in the dog, room and she just gives us the side eye, the like judgmental eye like this again. Like you, I can't make eye contact with right. her because right. it's just awful. But one time, this was early on when Jay and I were dating. God, I hope my mom's not listening to this or my brother. Oh, this is awkward. Um, we were at the, one of the fairs in San Francisco. It was like the Folsom Street Fair. Sure. Really? Crazy. That's a crazy okay. one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, and so we had right. a couple drinks or whatever. We Bought were some actually, outfits at the Folsom Street Fair. <laughs> yeah. one home. We did, Ball but gang. we should have. And so we made it back to the car, and we were going to have to sit there for a little while, and because we had waters, because we had had a couple drinks, we so we didn't want to drive home. We were in the car, oh, we drinking water, great. waiting to sober up, and so yeah, we decided to. Of all the so, things going on at the Folsom Street Fair, <laughs> that's probably the tamest thing that's ever happened there. You're probably right. That's true. We got in the back. You know Jay's truck. It's like it's like a half cab in the back. It's not very yeah. much room yeah. at all, but you can't do it in the front. He doesn't have tinted windows. Right. So we had to basically get on the floor in the back of the truck and like, yeah, it was a good time. Nobody caught us, but I was terrified. People were walking by. I could hear what people were saying as they were walking by. It was freaking They knew something was going on out. there. Probably. The truck was a rocking. I mean, we'd had Don't a couple bother drinks. Knocking. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> we had had a couple drinks. I'm sure it probably was. I can't even. Ah! You're turning red just oh talking God, about this. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, but it wasn't even close. It wasn't like you got like caught red handed. No, <laughs> we did not get caught red handed. But people probably saw. I'm sure somebody walked by and was like, oh, oh, what's going on in there? I'm just really shy about it. I'm very, um, I'm not a prude. But privacy is privacy, that's mm-hmm. what I'll yes. say. So, like, yeah, I can't. Oh, my God. I feel awkward even talking about it. So, next week, we'll give Huey a chance to let us know if he has ever That'd had be a like situation. 10 seconds of next week's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't listen to this podcast. Uh, you just, you know what? This whole thing reminds me. We're going to go home and put a lock on our door because our bedroom does not have a lock on the door. Oh, yes. oh you don't have a lock on your door? No, not our, not wow. our master bedroom. That's going to the top of the list now. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for listening to the Bonus Bone Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to 1077 The Bone wherever you get your audio. And we'll talk to you next time when Don't Huey can... Wood. Love, love. <laughs> Don't rock the boat. <laughs> like Paul Tonelli. Oh, Paulito. <laughs>